Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video we are going to solve a typical problem on gravitation. The question is, a semicircular wire has length L and mass M. A particle of mass M is placed at the center of the circle. Find the gravitational force of attraction on the particle due to the wire. So this is the question. So the question says that you have a semicircular wire okay, and uh, at its center a mass small m is placed. So this is a semicircular wire of mass capital M and length capital L. Okay, and at the center of the wire, mass capital M is small m is placed. So we are asked to calculate the force of attraction between this wire and this small mass. So what do we do? So we take one small element on this wire. This element is subtending an angle d theta at the center. Okay. Now let this angle be theta, and radius is r. Let the radius of this, this semicircle to be r. So this length of this small element, it will be r d theta. Okay. Now, if dm is the mass of this small element, then dm can be written as total mass is m, total length is l. So mass per unit length is m by l, and length of this segment is r d theta. So, if dm is the mass of this segment, dm will be equal to m by l r d theta. Okay. So, now the force of attraction between this small element and this mass m, it will be df is equal to mass of this is m, g mass of this is m, mass of this is dm divided by r square. Okay. This I have used the formula Newton's law of gravitation F is equal to G M1 M2 by R square. Force of attraction between two masses M1 M2 separated by distance R. Okay. Achha. Now this force, see this is the force on this mass. Okay. Now this force is directed towards the this small element Df. So this is the force on mass M. This is the direction of F. It is in th this direction. This angle is theta. Okay, so this df force can be resolved as df cos theta and df sine theta, isn't it? Okay. Now, for this element, there will be an identical element on the other side, for which df cos theta will be in this direction, df sine theta will be in the upward direction. So that means from this point to this point. All these, see from this to this point, all the df cos theta component will be in this direction. For from this point to this point, all the df cos theta component will be in this direction. So, the identical for identical components, this df cos theta component will cancel out. So, this cancels out. So, the resultant force is due to df sin theta. Okay. So, the net force. So net force, what do we do? We calculate the net force, we will add df sin theta component from this point to this point and then multiply it by 2 because from this point to this point we will have identical number of this df sin theta component, isn't it? So net force F is equal to 2 times 0 to pi by 2, why 0 to pi by 2? Because this theta varies from 0 to pi by 2. GM by r square, what is dm? dm is m by l r d theta d theta multiplied by this, this is df, this is df, then this is df sin theta. So, here we have sin theta. Okay. So, now here all the terms are constant except this sin theta. So, we take out the constant terms. So, this is f is equal to 2 g m m by this r and this r square cancels out. So, we are left with r. This is r into l 
integration of sin theta d theta so that is minus cos theta limit 0 to pi by 2 so cos pi by 2 it is 0 then cos 0 is 1 so we are left with f is equal to 2 g m m So this is f is equal to 2 g m m by r into l okay this is 1 this reduces to 1 okay now we don't know the radius okay but what is given in the question in given question it is given that the length of the wire is l okay so that means pi r is equal to l or r is equal to l by pi so this r is replaced by l by pi so this is f is equal to 2g mm l by pi into l so this is 2 pi g mm by l square so this is the expression for the force between this semicircular wire and this mass m at the center this mass at the center is a point mass okay and this is a extended body so this is how you have to calculate the force between extended bodies and a point mass similar technique can be used to calculate force between two extended bodies i hope this video is clear to you thank you